In today's video, we'll be doing a review of SEOwriting.ai. This is an AI copywriting tool which allows you to write content leveraging AI and using GPT, but allows you to do so very, very easily. So instead of using the playground mode in which you would have to create the content, you would have to prompt the AI and you'd have to set the AI, you can simply use SEO writing AI's already pre-prompted and pre-created templates to create your content. So we'll be doing more reviews of AI tools, but I just wanted to figure out which ones were the best AI tools to actually do reviews on because some of the AI tools out there aren't really the greatest. As I mentioned earlier, there's a couple of different templates in which you can choose from. We have the one click blog post template. We have bulk article generation. We have product rundups product reviews, simple editor, a how to guide a product list workflow, and a simple blog flow document creator. So to get started, we'll be using the one click blog post generator, and we'll be using the main keyword, which is how to start and grow an AI SaaS company in 2023. This will also be the same title as our main keyword. So that's going to be our um, settings there for the main keyword and for the title. If we scroll down, we have a lot of customization options. So for example, we can choose if you want an extra small, a small, medium, or large article. We're going to keep it at medium. This will be about 2,400 words. Then we can actually choose between the model. This is one of the features that I like about SEOwriting.ai is that we can actually integrate our open AI API key. So I've already connected my API key, and that means that you can be charged directly by OpenAI. So it will save you some money on your text generation because you're not paying SEO writing, but you're paying OpenAI directly. And you can choose between a variety of different models. For this example, I'm going to use the highest quality um, model, which is a GPT for 128K Turbo. This model has 128K context and uses thousands of data to craft an article. While it is more expensive and slower, it ensures supreme quality with a 30 times word consumption rate. So essentially it'll cost you a lot more. It's a lot slower, but the quality of output should be a lot better. So let's go ahead and use that model. Then we can change our language. We can change our um, tone of voice. So we're going to keep this professional. We could also customize the point of view if we like to do so and the target country. Now, some other things in which we can do is we can include details within this article. So let's say we're writing about our specific website and we want to include our specific website information. We can actually include that information here and um, SEO writing will include that information within our article. So for example, if you wanted to include a freebie that's downloadable, or if you wanted to include a call to action, we can tell the AI to include that call to action within our article. We can also tell it to include business information, any information in which we like the AI to include, we can let it, um, we can tell it what to include within this section. Now below this is where we can actually include images. So this is pretty neat because it allows us to um, include images. So we can include one or two images, we can actually choose the style of the images and we can choose the image size. So again, this is really awesome because this is the only tool I believe that allows you to automatically include images. Next, we can actually include YouTube video. So I'm gonna be including one YouTube video and I'm going to include that throughout the article. And again, this is a really awesome feature because it increases the quality of your content. Instead of just having written content, we'll now have images and we'll now have YouTube videos included within our content. Next, we can include specific SEO keywords that we want the AI to include within the article. So what we can do is let's say we are using a content optimization tool like New and Writer. We can then copy all of the keywords and paste it into this section or we can click NLP generation and the AI will automatically select keywords that it knows that it needs to include within this article. It's probably best for you to actually include your own keywords within this section here because it'll probably get you much better outputs. But if you wanted to, you can keep simply uh, click NLP keyword generation and you'll be able to get keywords from this section. And below this is going to be your structure customization. We can tell it to include a conclusion, include tables, include H3s, include lists, include italics, quotes, key takeaways, FAQs, and bolded words. So again, we can do that. And if we want to connect to the web, we can actually tell it to connect to the web, but we would need to upgrade. So for this example, I'm going to keep it as is. Um, if you guys want more examples of how to use SEO writing, I will upgrade to a paid plan and we can do some more videos on it. And below that will be your outline editor. This will allow you to be able to have access over customization of your outlines. You can customize your H1s, your H2s, your H3s, and you can manually add in any outlines which you would like to add. Again, this is a pro feature. If you guys want me to do so, I will do a full 
tutorial and all of these paid features in a future video. We can also publish this directly to our WordPress site. So if we wanted to, we can connect our WordPress site to SEO writing, and this will allow us to automatically generate content and publish that onto our WordPress site, which can save us a lot of time. Next, we want to use our open API key. I've already went ahead and connected my API key. So let's go ahead and click yes. So now that we have all our settings complete, we're going to go ahead and click run. And as you can see here, the AI will start creating our content. We're going to time this to see how long this content will take to create. But um, as you can see, it's already at 6%. And I haven't paid anything for SEO writing. I've just connected it onto my um, open AI API key. So as you can see, it's very affordable. If you want to upgrade, you can upgrade and that's how you get access to images, YouTube videos, you can connect um, SEO writing to WordPress site. But if you want to just try it out for yourself, you can try it out for completely free by just using your API key. And while this is generating, I've actually went ahead and started creating an article on the same topic using my process in the playground mode. So I've used my typical SEO prompts. I've generated my outline. And I'm starting to generate the full article. And as you can see, this is what the article looks like. So this is the article on the same topic, which is how to start and grow an AI SaaS company in 2023. And this is the first paragraph here. We are generating section by section. So I will tell the AI to continue writing. We'll tell the AI to continue writing the article until it's finished. And then we'll compare the output that we get from SEO writing and the output that we get back from the playground mode. The articles are now completed. And here is the article that we got back from SEO writing.ai. As you can see, it's a very large article. It is about 5,004, sorry, 5,200 words. And it's a very, very well done article. We have a key, key takeaway. We have some list. We have some bolded words. We have some tables. And it talks about the content, which is how to start and grow an AI SaaS company. It's very, very relevant. Um, the article, it's not just fluffy and has a lot of content, but it is very relevant. The only thing that I would say that can be done to improve this article is I've went ahead and read through it. If you actually just read just one paragraph here, we can see that the the complexity of the words, I think, is too high. I would like to have content that's much more easier to read, that's much more readable and a lower grade level of reading because the content here, the words are a little bit more complex, um, especially if you're not a native English reader. So I would like to reduce the level of complexity in terms of um, readability. But other than that, I would say that this article is really, really good. Again, we have a conclusion, we have an FAQ, and this is a very, very long article that we get back from seowriting.ai. And this is the article that we got back using the playground mode. As you can see, this is about 3,700 words. So a little bit less in terms of word length. But again, we get a really good article as well. I followed the same process that I've always followed on this channel. I use some prompts and I generated each section by section. And this is the content in which we were able to get back. So as you can see, we get an intro. We um, get relevant content about how to start and grow an AI SaaS company in 2023. Only thing that I would like, we also get um, some links here. So we get some external links that actually do work. So if I hand clicked on those links and they do work. So we have some nice external links that were included in to um, the playground mode, which is something that we didn't get in SEO writing. So that is a plus. Um, only thing that I would like to have more is more list, more tables. Um, that would allow the content to be much more skippable, much more readable, and just easy or easier for readers to read. Um, we do have a lot of blobs of text here, so that's what I don't really like about this content. But overall, I would say that this article was also really good from the playground mode. The advantages of using SEO writing is that you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting. You can simply configure the article and then the article will be generated for you. You just have to wait a little bit longer than using the playground mode. But um, in the long run, if you want to generate a lot of content, this can save you more time because you don't have to manually generate the content and you can publish it directly to your um, to your website. So if you are inexperienced using the playground mode or you just want a faster way to create content, then I definitely recommend using SEOwriting.ai. I was pleasantly surprised by the content in which I was able to get back and I'm using my API key. So in terms of cost, I would say it's a very similar cost in terms of using the playground mode and using SEOwriting.ai, especially when you're using your own API key. So if you want to check out SEO writing for yourself, I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.